Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. This is Cash Killing AC Sports Report. I'm gonna run through a few of these draft picks because, to to be honest with you, I watch college basketball in a sense, but I'm not a huge college basketball guy. And a lot of these guys this year aren't even from America. Um, guys like Bismack, Balan. I mean, I don't even know how to say these names. I've never even heard. Yeah, Jan Vesely, uh, Jonas, Jonas, uh. Felonsius. I mean, I've never heard of half these people, and I don't think the number three pick is Ennis Kantner of Turkey. I mean, I, I hear I've heard these guys' names in the last few days just because of the NBA draft, but I hadn't heard of them prior. I mean, let's go through this. Uh, number one pick, Kyrie Irving. I think the guy's got a ton of talent. I don't know if he's going to be great. My guess is he probably won't be very good in the NBA because I think he has injury problems, and I, I think the guy who went number two. Derek Williams is going to be the better player. From what I've been told and from what I've seen, this guy's got all the skills and a ton of raw potential. But, I mean, what I've to told is he needs to work on some of his perimeter defense, but he's got decent, or he can shoot decent, and he can take it to the post. So I, I like, I, I think that overall the Timberwolves got a nice pick at number two. They also traded uh, Johnny Flynn away, basically, to make room for Ricky Rubio to come in and start at guard next year. Uh, and I'm just going to go through the really the picks that people care about. I mean, it's kind of cool how Markeith Morris and Marcus Morris go back to back, almost, almost similar to what happened to the Lopez twins the other year. Uh, but uh, at number nine, Kemba Walker. I think Kemba Walker's got the tools to be a number two player on a team. Uh, I don't mean position. I mean like the second best player. I, I like what he does. I think in the big moment, this guy is clutch as hell. He can take it to the hoop. He can shoot. I, I like Kemba Walker a lot, and I think he can be successful in the NBA. Uh, right after him, Jimma. Jimma Ferdet went. Jimma Ferdet, my bad. Went at number 10 to the Bucks. Kemba Walker went to the Bobcats. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, Jim is still going to be so good in the NBA because they don't play defense and he can drive, he can do it all. He's not in the Mountain West Conference anymore. I mean, the days of him driving and scoring 50 points are done. Um, I, I think this guy can be a role player and probably more than that, not much more than that. Because I think he's going to be more of a shooter in the pros. He's not going to be driving as much. He's not going to be a point guard. He's probably going to end up being a shooting guard. So as a backup shooting guard, I think this guy is pretty good backup at, at shooting guard. I mean, t to be honest with you, again, I, I don't know a ton about college basketball. I, when you get to the NBA, that's when I start evaluating because half the people that are good in college basketball t flop in the NBA. Now, I don't mean like flop and fake fouls. I mean flop like they don't end up being anything. And the other half of the people... Uh, the, the ones that go higher, people from other countries that I've never even heard of. So, I mean, the NBA draft, I guess it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. The only draft that I actually sit down and watch is the NFL draft. So, that is that. Uh, any questions, leave them in the box or the comments below. I'll try and answer them. Um, I'm going to put up tomorrow the interview we, we did with uh, Jason Babin on the debate a couple nights ago. So, that should be good. Until then, I'm Tim. I'll see you later.